there. Welcome to one more Brazil Soul TV show. Tonight we are at the Brazil Brazil Cultural Center for Elise, a celebration, which is a tribute to one of the greatest and most influential singers in Brazil, Elise Regina. For you who don't know who she was, think about Bossa Nova, along with João Gilberto, Tom Jobim, and all the big names that you might have heard about, she put the Brazilian music in another level. Well, Elise Regina, she was an idol, you know, as we all know in Brazil, she was involved in the, all the important moments that we had in Brazil. Even though she's been gone, but her music is still pretty much alive. And that's why we try to bring her to the American audience, Elise Regina, because most people they don't know how empowering, how influential her music was into Brazilian and the world. So that's what we're really trying to educate people here in America, who Elise Regina was and how important she was to Brazilian culture. that Elisa Regina has, it's, how did you pick up your lineup? It is very dif difficult to find the songs because all of the songs I like it. And there's so many, she recorded so many LPs for the, for the age she has, you know, she lives on 236. She had 27, 28 LPs while she was alive. So it's hard, but I went with my heart and said, what do I like? Everyone is like my favorite. Exactly, and everybody sings, you see, yeah. I, we sing one song, come on, everybody sings. I think this is the beginning of something that's going to be endless and, and I believe what we're trying to bring here is to really show the American people that Brazil has such important culture to share and then I believe that through music, through dance, through poetry, through acting, we can do so many things and we can show what we can do and what we can offer to this culture. So I believe that this is the beginning of something that's going to be very brighter. It's going to be incredible in the future. For me, um, hearing all of her songs by Katya all sung together, you know, now I'm recognizing songs I didn't even know were her that she made famous. So to hear all of them together, I see, wow, there's so many classics. <laughs> Well, I've been seeing a lot of like articles from new Brazilian newspapers and we saw, we watched the, this amazing, not documentary, but a lot of footage that you guys could put together. How the idea came out? Well, I know Kacha Moraes for many years and uh, we, you know, we always like debate like, you know, we should do something together and we always trying to collaborate and and then finally we met like a couple of months ago and we said what a, what about if people do like a celebration honoring Elise Regina so we met and we just got for several weeks and then we came up with the idea to do here at the cultural center uh, a celebration for Elise Regina which has happened tonight which as you see is an incredible night a lot of people beautiful energy, beautiful like, you know, vibes, which we're really trying to bring to the American culture. George Vismara, you're the responsible for those beautiful 
images on the wall. So tell me, how did you bring this inspiration out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? Probably it was at least inspirational, working on my brain and trying to convert her, bring her through musical notes into images that people can enjoy. You were talking to me about the videos here. Yeah. You had some footage with you, right? Well, when Katja asked me about working with her, I said, oh, remember, I have some VHS tapes that I recorded from some global specials about Elise, and we collect about five hours of Elise uh, videos, and we, we were able to clip it down to 25 minutes, 27 minutes. What you saw here, many images are, the colors are not really there, but she's there. Angela, you're Australian. Yeah. What do you think about the Brazilian culture? Uh, I really like it. It's, um, I think Brazilians and Australians are very similar. We're very happy people. We're very relaxed, uh, outgoing. We like to have fun and drink some wine and... Um, Caprioscas, I think. Caprioscas, yeah. <laughs> um, I think. I think Brazilian culture. I'm trying to learn the dance that everyone's doing inside. Um, but yeah, I really like Brazilian people, Brazilian music, and Brazilian food. But it's all about Brazil for you. Wow, um, I don't know because it's hard to describe. I've thought about it many times, but, uh, but Brazil, it struck a chord in me even at a very young age. You know, I, when I first heard, like when I was a kid, very young in America, I heard the girl from Ipanema and the, the romance of it, the, the, the tropical energy of it, the beauty of, I could feel the culture, I could feel the, 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 the landscape, the rhythm, the, the rhythm just, just, just said, where is this coming from and why, you know, I feel like wherever this is happening, this music came from, I want to find out about this place. And then, you know, as I grew up, you know, more and more different rhythms and different people influenced by taste of music and a lot of it was Brazil. Everything you started, you got hooked with the girl from Ipanema then. Yes, yes. I wanted to find the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> <laughs> so where's this place Did and where's this girl? It? Actually, I, yeah. I <laughs> Tonight, with no doubt, was an amazing night. We reunite as a big family here at Brazil Brazil Cultural Center to see a tribute to Elise Regina, our beautiful and amazing singer. And if you guys don't know Brazil Brazil Cultural Center, please check them out. They offer Zumba classes, capoeira, and even Portuguese classes. So please stay with us. I'm Luisa Florence, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.